Well, that's how Tuesday mornings are meant to be if you're a lion. Uh, isn't that a very comfortable looking lioness? Now there's another, looked like another few behind her in the, in the croton thickets. But uh, here we go, there she's moved her head. Now we spotted her from quite a long way away. And I was like, well, I have not seen any big white stumps or roots in this area. So it looks to be a member of the Paradise Pride. Hello, Gilly. Now, there's one very cool lioness, and she's not too old from what, the way she looks, and uh, she's completely blind in her left eye, but uh, I can't really see from here whether that is uh, a paradise lioness or not, whether it is the one who's blind in her eye. And you can see she's lying up on a little rocky area, lots of big boulders in between us. That little girl. There we go. Hi, Alison. Alison's wondering if anyone's got a compiled list of all the cats in the Mara. Uh, there are different compiled lists. I wouldn't say a complete list for all the big cats in the Mara, but don't worry, Alison. Uh, we're on it. Uh, Jamie and I have been compiling ID kits, etc., uh, for each individual line that we find. Uh, sometimes it is a bit challenging, like at the moment where they're too far away that we can get a good ID photograph um, that we can work out from whisker whisker spots uh, or ear notches or scars who they are uh, but we're starting to get a much better idea of the different lines around here and she doesn't look like she's too full she just looks like it's a, oh, it's quite chilly this morning you can see the wind is is quite strong she looks like she's just really enjoying the morning sun now in the in the early mornings it's not uncommon to find the lions lying out in the open here uh, basking in the glorious high altitude sunshine i'm just going to move a little if you look to a little bit to the left since in the shade there's actually a cub okay there we go it looks like a cub yes i'm almost certain this is definitely paradise pride uh, just from where we are and i have seen cubs of that age with them before so there we go now as i said there could be as many as well there's nine lionesses in total in the paradise pride but I, the most i've ever seen together uh, is five but they do come and go and and, and move from each other and uh, they let me just try to remember how many cubs they have in total they've got a lot nine or ten cubs uh, nine adult lionesses and then of course the dominant male coalition for this paradise pride is of course the musketeers I was hoping there might be a musketeer about with the, the lounging lady and there's definitely another lioness behind her but I can't really see, and you can just see that pale through the, the bush. Oh, heads up. Oh, she is pretty. Well, she's not the one who's missing an eye. Come on, time to get up and go moving. Tim says it looks breezy. Indeed it is, Tim. The, the breeze has been belting through the Mara. It's actually a little bit less than it was yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning, we, while we were doing tests uh, and trying to get everything up and running, uh, we were faced with a howling gale. I'm just going to move forward a tiny bit, see if we can see uh, any other, other cats there. Now, you always got to look carefully, because they can be lying all over the place. Well, Rebecca is wondering, are lions the only animals that can sleep without fear? Uh, Rebecca, I would say the only animal that can truly sleep without fear uh, are human beings, I mean not human beings, um, elephants. And the only thing they have to fear is human beings, which is not a problem here. So there we go, we can see a little bit further onto that rock now. And we can now see at least another lioness, but there could be a few more. Okay, so there's a cub, and it looks like another adult lion, lioness lying at the back there. As I said, there, there could be quite a few more uh, in the thickets. Now, the Paradise Pride are, are specialists um, at 
wildebeest as the poor wildebeest run the gauntlet of the Mara River and uh, a few of them get snacked upon by those giant dinosaurs, uh, the Mara crocodiles. And as they think all is safe and they leap out of the other side, alas, the paradise pride awaits on both banks. So the lions here will cross the river regularly. Anne is wondering if, I, if I'm ever afraid of ever being attacked by a lion. Anne, I, I, I'm not. I, I have a very healthy respect for lions, uh, but while I'm in a vehicle, I, I have almost, or I have no fear of being attacked by a lion. And also, if a lion started showing signs of aggression, I would give them more space. It's all about reading the individual animal's behaviour on the on the day, because. Like us, animals can have bad days and good days, but generally lions are not concerned at all with vehicles. And even on foot, uh, as long as you're not wandering around in the darkness, uh, you will be fine. Uh, so human beings have been, sorry, I'm just playing with the radio, um, which we are testing as well today. I should Oopsie, wrong button. Um, which we're testing as well today. And uh, hopefully it'll be all up and running perfectly shortly. So I'm saying with at least two adult lionesses, I'm saying there's at least another three or four cubs of that age with this pride. Animals and Reports is wondering how old is this pride? Um, well, I'd say the average age of the female in the pride is probably between 6 and 10, but uh, I haven't been here long enough and I haven't found any information yet on how old the Paradise Pride or how long the Paradise Pride's been around. So uh, that is the type of information we are, are, are collecting at the moment and uh, the lion researchers are currently away and when they're back, um, Jamie now will be going across to have a meeting with them and hopefully we'll have more information like that, how long the Paradise Pride's been in existence, etc. And, uh, well, I don't think these lions are going to do too much looking at them, lounging in the lovely sunlight. Uh, we're going to move a little bit, see if we can get a better visual. Uh, while we do that, I know someone else is searching for a visual of a different type of cat.